Well, it is officially my final full day here in Orlando, Florida. So tomorrow I fly home. Don't even want to think about that just yet. Um, so today I am going to make the most of this amazing weather. Now look at that weather. So I'm going to go for, it's not a theme park day today, I'm going to go to a place called, I don't know how to say it really, to be honest, I don't know if it's Deserland or Deezerland. So I'm going to walk there, it is roughly about maybe a 25 minute, 30 minute walk. I'm going to make the most of the weather because how often am I going to get to enjoy weather like this back home? Zero. Um, so I'm going to enjoy this. Walk up there, maybe get an Uber back, see how I feel. So, Deezerland or Deserland, I'll say Deezerland uh, for the rest of the video probably, um, has various things inside it uh, to do, amusements wise. And then there's also museums, car museums. So I think there's two museums, the Bond Museum, and then there's a car museum as well. Plus they have cool cars in amongst the Deezerland area as well. So. There's that, and then there's uh, some shopping outlets just n nearby, either across the road or just kind of adjacent to it. And I'll go and check some of them out. I'm not going to show all the shops, but I'm going to go back shopping for myself, have a look around, see what there is, and just have kind of like one of those days. So check out Dieselland, see what's inside it. Try and even check out the museums, the car museum, which museum or museums. Not really sure what's going to be opened, but that's my thought process. So. Let's go for a walk up there first, Let's check out Dieselland, check out some uh, shops, just have a nice, calm, relaxing day to a certain degree um, before travel day tomorrow because travel day for me, I like to get to the airport early and through security, so it's a full travel day for me, I don't really try and go somewhere uh, first, like a park or anything, if I can get some pool time at the, the resort then fair enough, but I like to, I don't know, I just like to be there early, just in case there's any issues um, at the airport. So anyway, stop talking about tomorrow, because I don't want to depress myself. Um, but yeah, let's go and enjoy my last full day here on Orlando. Yeah, come join me. Let's go for a walk. I'm going to probably get something to eat at Dieselland. Um, probably maybe get like a water or a juice just to walk up with. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I'm not going to get any food here. I'm going to go straight there and uh, possibly get maybe a coffee and something to eat there uh, when I get there. But who knows? So let's get out the room and head on our walk. Oh, the shades are going on. I'm going to go on, well, go on, go through the secret gate, which is not so secret. It just takes you out to this main road. There's the resort there. Such a good day again, really. Got for a walk, got myself a water. That's a little gardens for the dockside, so if you've been watching this series. But you've got all these little like, Back to the Future, these little kind of seats with plaques on them, with quotes and movies on them. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up this main road on the path, and I've got my sun cream on, got my water, good to go. There doesn't seem to be any helicopters. At Air Force Fun just now. Seen that on day one. If you've seen the day one vlog, that was really cool. Taking it at launch from there. I'm just continuing to walk up this street. And right here on day one, I came to see the big soccer boy statue. And I showed you the size of it with me standing next to it compared to me. Now I'm nearly six foot four. That gives you an idea. Go have, have a look at that vlog. It's in this series. 
bear in mind if you're doing the same walk I'm doing or walking in similar areas, you do have to cross a lot of the main roads, these intersections. Just be very patient and wait. That's all you need to do. It does take some time sometimes to cross over, but just need to wait. Be safe. Oh, I agree. The must see fantasy parade at Magic Kingdom. Ah, yep. Anyway, I'm nearly there. And I have made it to Deezerland. It says there, America's largest automobile extravaganza. Let's go in and have a look, a walk around. So it is only 5 past 12, so it didn't take me too long to walk. So that's Deezerland there, I'm walking towards now, on my right hand side. Across the road there you can see like Tommy Hilfiger, Guess. Not as in Guess, as in like Guess the, <laughs> the brand. You've got Nike, you've got some birds chirping away as well. Some Nike clearance store over there. And a few other ones, so I'm going to take a walk around. Deezerland to have a fun, I'm going to maybe get some coffee just now and something to eat. See what's going on over here and then go have a look at the shops. I don't even know if this place is open. Look how quiet it is. I have never ever seen, no, I've been here before, I've never seen it this quiet. Which tells me it may not be open. I'm certainly going to go have a look anyway, if it is open. So strange. It must be open. I've seen people come in and out, so I've just never seen it this quiet. Genuinely. Look. Never ever seen it go this quiet before. So strange. Let's go inside. Got the James Bond murals outside. Look really cool. One there, the big bond there. But yeah, it looks open, so let's go in. Here we've got Tomator. Let's have a look at Tomator before we go in. And here he is Tomator from Radiator Springs. <laughs> Love it. Right. Let's go in. There's a few of the things you have here. You have to keep talking because of the music copyright. You get go karting, the auto experience, and uh, bowling. Excellent. So I'm going to walk through the place and see what we have a look. But I can see some cool cars already. Pizza pie. It says there you've never had a pizza like this before on the window. I'm sold already. Not for breakfast, but maybe later on. A pizza pie? Mmm. The go karting looks incredible. It looks like so much fun. No one's on it just yet. So that is kind of, it is open. Should be a good time to go on it. Not for me just now, but I need coffee, I need food. Yeah, this looks really cool. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Again, I'm going to have to keep talking over the music that's playing inside here. But look at all of these amazing cars. This is not part of the museum. This is just out. This is just walk in the front main doors. The mystery machine has made an appearance in here as well. So cool. These are so cool looking. We'll go over to the other end, I believe. That red carpet there and the cars. Are, between the two cars are the entrance in to the museum, you can just see the sign there, just about. So I'm going to have a look at the other end of the cars there, then I'm going to go and get a coffee, something to eat, and then we'll go and see if we can go in and have a look at the museum. Look at this. That's the interest down there. So we'll have a look at that shortly after I get some food. Look at this. That is incredible. And there's Elvis as well. Some really awesome stuff going on here. Can't wait to go inside and have a look. I caved in. I've got a pizza pie. I've ordered it. I'm just sitting waiting for it. Can't wait. It's lunchtime anyway, let's be honest. I can have a pizza, I'm allowed to. It's my last full day. Pizza has arrived. Let's take a look inside. So we've got a pepperoni pizza. Oh man, that smells good. 
<laughs> there we go. Taste test. Very warm, very very warm. Oh. Is that cloth? Let it cool down. I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit before I lift it up again. Right, I'm going for it. Probably still warm. Mm. Very, 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 very nice. Very thin as well, very light. Mm. It's nice. I don't know why they're calling it a pizza pie. I'm not sure why. That is lovely, nice. Next to the go karts, in case you haven't guessed. Uh, look. A greasy pizza. Nice. I'm gonna enjoy this, and then hopefully go into that museum. That's the plan. Did I just finish that full Terence pizza? I did. Oh yes. Oh yes. Hopefully the museum has a little place I can go for a map. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was nice. Nice pizza. Sorry about the light behind me. The... Oh, there we go. That better. Pizza was nice. I was expecting something different. Um, but it was nice. It was really good. Um, yeah, that's it. So, I'm all fed, watered. Now, let's go to the museum. So I really want to go and have a look at it. And it's... Half past one, so I might spend some time looking around the museum and a bit more at Dieselland, what it has to offer. So let's go. And we are going in the Orlando Auto Museum, Dieselland Park. If I remember to put the prices in the video, I'll do that. If not, I'll put the link down below. But I'm on the red carpet, it's official. I'm walking in. So I'm going to this museum. I'm also going to the Bond exhibit as well. So, we'll do this one first. I'm just walking straight in. There is so much here by the looks of it. There's some folk here, so I'll need to kind of come back and forth a little bit. The longest car in the world. I could safely say that's pretty long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a Vespa collection. And wow. <laughs> Give him the sign. I like the way it's set up as well, so you can walk in to here, stop to a point, have a look at these, and then you can also just go around, make sure they're all kind of got their own little sections, it's a Vespa section, but you can actually go into the Vespa section and walk around, if that makes sense, which I'm kind of doing just now, if you know what I mean, so, go around here, and you can get up close, personal, rather than just looking from afar. Because yeah, they're right there. So cool. I don't know much about Vespas. But they look pretty cool. Oh, it's like an old one. <laughs> They look cool, those two there. I'm going to go out this way, the old Vespa signs. 
pictures and scenes. Right, let's go to the next section. I'm not going to show everything in every section because that'll be a very, very long video. I'll just try and show what I can and make it as interesting as possible because there's a lot to take in. So it wouldn't be fair as well. You need to come down and have a look for yourself and make the most of it. But look at the, look at the size of that car. <laughs> Well, so yeah, I can't record everything because it would be a very, very long video, like I said. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up this way and then I'll kind of come back down the way for the best bet to try and keep out of everyone's way. The one to intrude anyone's privacy, but look at all the different sections of it. You've got Israel, France, Russia, and you've got, get in, what's this? Mini. What's that? Mini L City. Look at this. I've never seen a car like that before, ever. Obviously because they don't operate like that anymore, but wow, I've ever physically seen them like that. Wow. There's Betty Boo. P Betty Boop. Not Betty Boo. <laughs> What's that there? Wow. Again, you can walk round. I think I'm going the wrong way. Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going that way. Don't know if that was the one-way system for the COVID times. Look at that. These cars are so unique. Look at this. Look at that there. They give the kind of shift on it. Look at that! Look at that! This is incredible. This may be a long video. Because <laughs> it's, it's all amazing. This is great. This, look at this. Look at the water one there. Ah, oh, this, is, this is fantastic. Look at this, yeah. There's a, a Bugatti, Freeway, FMR, a Roller. Look at that one there. Look at a little one. Or two little ones. Two little ones. Look at that. Look at that. I would never fit in that. Well, give it a go. Yeah, fantastic collection. Okay, right, next one. So I haven't even touched that row yet. Kind of walked up that row. I've missed out a section there. There's more bikes and Vespas. This section just got a plane, an actual plane. So you can go left here, or left or right. But cars and stars, matil, matil, military pavilion. I'm excited. Cuba Libre, Thunderbird, Harley, I've seen a Batman section just there as well and then over here you've got Cars of England which will be interesting to see Cars of the Stars, Batcave as I mentioned over there Military Pavilion, Kaiser Lounge so much going on here this is huge that is just wild having a plane there <laughs> it's okay. This is nuts. I'm going straight for the Batman. Yep. Straight for Batman. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Wow, what's going on? Seriously, look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, this is nuts. I can't believe this collection of Batman stuff. There's, there's a boat, there's bikes, 
There's the cars. There's Catwoman. Uh, there's a Joker. This is incredible. Yeah. Wow. This, this is... Where else are you going to see something like this? Really? Nothing you're going to see anything like this anyway. I can't get my head around this collection of cars and automobiles. And I'm just walking into Thunderbirds now. A whole Thunderbird section. Now, again, I'm not going to cover everything. I'll show what I can. I said I can't show everything anyway, there's too much to, to show. But I'll take pictures, put the pictures and put them in the, my social media. So my Instagram and my Facebook links are down below. And I'll be putting lots of pictures up. Um, yeah. Okay. It's a lot to take in. Can I have one ticket please? No? Oh, I'm ready in. Post office, US post office. Postage stamps. This, I'm just walking into the military section just now, but this is just absolute. Look at this. I mean, where, where is that from? Hopefully it tells me. Just look, just look at it. Must be from a movie, surely. Or did they use, did they use that in the, the wars and the army? And why not? Look at it. This looks something in a movie. Wait till you see this. <laughs> wow. Look. <laughs> oh, wow. This is incredible. I, I don't know any other words. I know I haven't even said amazing yet. I've said incredible because it is. This is a crazy collection. And again, you just walk through and round and it's all themed. Of course, and you hear the music as well. Look at all the games as well. There, I'm just I'm lost of words. I can't even can't even talk. But it's, I mean, even the small details, everything like the like the posters. I was looking at them. I got see the posters there. The posters on the wall. Even them. The clothing. Look at that. The main street USA section. You can kind of guess what's going to be in here. Yeah. Try to take it on myself as well just now and it's been very well looked after. Not dying on you. I think we can go inside the diner before we go inside. inside the cool little diner here. We've got a jukebox. <laughs> oh, so good in here, really is. And just across the way we've got the Americana section in there. We have a quick look around that as well just now. Look at all the posters and everything on the walls. <laughs> just look at this. Oh, this is... Wow. 
even the old jukeboxes, the cars, everything. You've got, you've got music going on, the old gas pump. Posters, like I said, posters and records and pictures. Oh, we are both that happy. Like, no wonder. Amazing place. Now, I'm going to go this way. What do we have here? We have Planet Euro. Germany, muscle cars. She stuff like that was somebody sitting there. So let's go and have a look at some of the muscle cars. We've got Hot Rod Avenue sign, horsepower. This is so I like that. Nice. <laughs> they're, all, they're all nice. Look at the skeleton, the skeleton seats in there. Look at the seats. What? Now, I'm not a huge, huge car person, but I do love history. I like history. And you've just got a whole wealth of history and stories in this museum. And all in one place. It just takes you back to a place where you who I had never lived or never been before, um, never lived through before, it tells you a story. And yeah, it just kind of brings these cars back to life and they all have something to say, if that makes sense. I like that side of it. And if a car looks cool, I like a cool car, but I'm not really into cars. I don't know a lot about them, but, but I like it for those reasons. I know, I know what you're saying. What are the odds? of me having this t-shirt on and seeing this car I know, right? Crazy You have got to be joking They actually have Postman Pat's van <laughs> I'm even kidding Postman Pat? They even have a, a smaller one. Oh, brilliant. That's so funny. And, and cool. Really, really cool. There's the, the big one over there. I just looked at. And there's a the small one. <laughs> the legend, Mr. Bean. Of course. So I'm now going to the Great Gatsby section. This is what I'm talking about. This is the... the I'm not into cars, but... This takes you back. I mean, just look. I mean, it takes you back. I wasn't not. It's not my era, of course. But it takes like a feeling. It gives me a feeling of what it would have been like. It's very, very elegant, beautiful cars. And you know, honestly, I wish cars still were like this. Just beautiful, beautiful cars. It took time to make and. Very unique. Stunning cars. To me, it probably kind of sort of felt like everyone was proud to have their car, and just now everyone just like has a car. To a certain degree. But just look at that. I know there's different types of cars back then as well, but look, I mean, that's I've heard of Buick before, but. I don't know from what I'm trying to say is coming across, but yeah, just I don't know. I just maybe felt more like owning a car in this era than I did now. Just something more to it. There's like an art to it. Hopefully that makes sense, but that's what I'm trying to mean by it. It's just like, yeah, it's, it just takes me back to an era that. I was never around in. Yeah, don't know. I can't show you it all. Very, very hard to show everything. What I have noticed is you can host events and parties in the team building. Events. Which is pretty cool. 
I'm in the kind of Chrysler section now, but they can host parties and events in areas that are themed. That's pretty good. Uh, good. Good idea. I'm blown away. This, I mean, it's a highly recommend for me. If you are in the area nearby, or if you're visiting, then you've got to come and see this. Something, something very different. Like I said, I'm not in the cars, but that doesn't matter. In my opinion. So I'm, going, I'm walking down the left hand side now. And we'll jump into these sections and see what we can look at. See what I mean? It takes you back. This is the 1920s area. That they are to me is just incredible. That's that's the word of the day. 1905 Clement replica. Now, I don't know what that is, but I know it's that. Just everything was just so much simpler back then. Don't know if it was harder or easier or what, but I mean, just just hop on. I mean, don't be wrong, engines and everything else makes it easier, but I don't think you'd be travelling far on that either. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Pie your life afford. Ah. 1930s area. <laughs> little barbers, little boat. The child get the haircut. Just walked in to a full boat area with Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Got all the different motors here, boat motors, Got scale models, boats. Was that a region boat? Dolphin. Yeah. And the dolphins here. An historic dolphin. Oh. Welcome to the cars of the stars. Ooh. I see the Grinch. Now look at that. <laughs> you better watch out, the Grinch is coming. Fantastic. Fantastic. The Green Hornet. And then, we call it, what's that, the Black Beauty? Yeah, yeah. Right, oh, the collection, Twilight Zone. The collection continues. Okay, this looks very ominous. Scan my wristband. managed to get in someone that helped me to get in. This is incredible. I'm not going to show it all because it's just too too much to show and give away but there's Ghostbusters as you can hear the music, there's Michael Jackson's Soul Train, there's Terminator, the Star Wars, Starsky and Hutch, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, A-Team, Inspector Gadget, Grease, there's so much. Um, Indiana Jones, I see him as well. There's some close behind me. Uh, the monkeys, the scent. One more. Bean's Holiday. Could have seen Bean. Oh. Look at this. Oh. I can't go into detail on every single one of them, but oh my. Back to the future, they've got a DeLorean. 
they have a DeLorean. 6.2 gigawatts. I don't even know what it actually is in the film, so I can't remember. But I know that's a flux, flux capacitor just in the back there. I do know that, so. Ah, I do know my cars. <laughs> I know my movies more like. Uh, wow, so good. As I'm saying, even cars takes you to movies. I mean, it just takes, I know it's in the movie section, but. It just takes you back to watching that movie. It makes you want to go and maybe watch it again. That takes me back out to where I was in the Gate Gatsby. A moment ago, I didn't know it would come this way. So I thought I'll just have to go that way and open up the doors. So, so you've got the great race cars here. They've got Fast and Furious. They've probably got like a million cars. There's it is. There's some Disney. Car is it? Yes, yes. Mad Max. Mad Max car. Interceptor police car. That does look cool. That's the Disney things I was talking about tonight. Disney things. Disney ornaments or toy ornaments. Betty Boop, again. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I said I haven't shown you half of it. There's so much to show. There's so much detail that I probably haven't even picked up on. Because it's just like anything else, if it's your first time. Then you're not going to take it all in. It's my first time. Right, I'm going to leave this exhibition. I'm going to go to the James Bond exhibition. I need to leave this section, but then go through to the other section. So it's still in the same building. Let's go and have a look at that. Looking forward to that as well. So yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Recommend the Orlando Auto Museum here at Daisyland. Well, we do enter here it says. That's what the foot steps that was for. But I don't want to be in everyone's way. So I kind of done my own thing there. But you can go in this way at the 20s bit. So, let's go. <laughs> let's go see James Bond. For the Bond exhibit. Look at this. The tank and everything going on here. You don't go through this way, you go through the bar section. We're going to go in and get shaken, not stirred. So here we go. My ticket today, I get both access to both. The Bond exhibit and the exhibit we just had a look at. So swipe your card here. There we go. <laughs> this is awesome as well. Just the whole theming. <laughs> This collection is wild. Now, I'll admit, I'm not the biggest James Bond fan, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I liked some of the films. Well, most of the films, probably. I liked them. I liked the computer games back, way back when I used to play computer games. But look at this. Look, look at this. It's just a small little corner in the museum. All little collectibles, car, oh, just everything. It is really cool. This is really, really cool. So when you come into the museum, you can come in any way you want to be fair, but the kind of point in the right direction, come in anti-clockwise, so you'll see the, t the times, the dates there. So in 1964, or 1973, all the way around. 1977, all of this section over there as well, all the way around. So that's kind of my era there, 1995, all the way up. So Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, Time of the Day, Double, Double Seven, Casino Royale, Quantum Solace, Skyfall, Spectre. They're kind of my era. But the collection 
again, just like the previous, it's breathtaking. There's far too much to take in. I could spend hours and hours in here. Look at this one, this was the, this the aqua car kind of idea. Look at the submarine car. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm going to say it. Incredible. Well, that's just a cool looking car. I would drive that today. Now the real question is, who was the best James Bond, or is? That's the real question. I'm getting vibes here of fish or friends, not food. How cool would it be to get on that plane? Look at that plane. How did you even get that in here? That's what I want to some would say I'm the best Bond. <laughs> That's such a bad impression of Sean Connery. Oh, I'm Scottish, I can't even do Sean, Con Sean Connery. Sean Connery. <laughs> can't do it. I just can't do it. in this small corner. I've come back to this bit it's because it's just having a good look around of all the different things but wow it's very hard to explain what is here because there's just a lot here having a little nap on the wall there. <laughs> That's just, it's a lot to take in and it's such a great collection. Well, I think I'm going to call it a day here at the Bond ex Experience, Bond Exhibition, the James Bond Exhibition. Um, yeah, so let's head out and I'm going to go check some of the shops and just chill. So it's only half past three just now. But this has been amazing, two, two great exhibits, two great exhibitions, museums, highly, highly recommend coming to this if you can. Well, I really enjoyed that, Dieselland, or Deserland, highly recommend, highly, highly recommend. I like doing things that are different, that's definitely different, and you can spend a good day here, if not two. So, really, really enjoyed that. Hopefully it gets really, really busy for them, um, because it deserves more traffic and more people coming here and enjoying it. So let's go and see some of the shops. I got all excited about the shopping. I've already been to the Nike outlet store and got a few things. Yeah, I'm not going to walk every single store, but I'll show you briefly what's in this area right across from Dieselland. There is other outlets. I usually go to the Vineland Premium Outlet, and then there's another one not far from here as well. So there's quite a few. Just go on Google Maps and you can see different outlets. I'm only coming here because it is close to where we were, across the road. But I'm going to continue walking in the shops just now. I'll show you in the next clip what there is in this one, shop-wise. So I feel like there's a whole lot more that shows in that sign. And over there you've got Crocs over there, you've got perfume shops, Calvin, Klein. Yeah, there's a few other things, guesses up there as well, I think that was on the sign. But, the Lacoste. Feels like there's more that I can physically see. So I have walked around the stores, nothing really in the stores for me. I've got the couple of night t-shirts, I'll show them later on. That's really it. I'm getting an Uber. Now from where I am to Walmart. I'm going to have a walk around Walmart, see what there is. 
Maybe get something, maybe not. We're back out of Walmart. Yes, I am getting another Uber. Gonna head back to the resort. Five minutes away to pick up. There's not wasn't a lot in Walmart to be fair. Picked up a few little things, but not a lot. A lot of crazy stuff. So yeah, I'm back in the resort, I'm going to go to the room, dump everything, and then possibly have to pack my bag to go home tomorrow. Seven more. Show me the light. Right, get the famous light back on. Housekeeping has been in again, so every day they've been in on this trip, which has been great. Oh, bag off. I'm gonna chill, it's only half past six, so it's still early, but I have a lot to do tonight. I have to pack my bags, get things ready for tomorrow, unfortunately, because tomorrow is travel home day, and today is the end of the vlog series for this trip. So, sad times. Sad times, um, but yeah, I'm going to chill for um, just kind of maybe 10 minutes and then start looking at packing my bag and all that stuff just so it's done out of the way and then I can do the rest of tonight and not do it tomorrow, I can have a long night tomorrow and get ready for travel because travel is in the afternoon, it's there. I think it's 6 o'clock the flight's at in the afternoon, so yeah, I'm going to chill for uh, a couple of minutes, so I'll see you soon. So as I am in the process of packing my bag, I need to show you what I bought at the night outlet. I went to other stores but there was nothing really there for me. I'm not, I don't really buy things for buying sake. Got so a couple of t-shirts from Nike outlet. This was the factory clearance store. So I got four t-shirts for £9.99. And that's really it. So they're all 9 99 each. I'm going to put these in my bag and that's really it, that's my treat for the day. So I thought it was pretty good. And yes, it's been half an hour and I'm still packing my bag because I'm just taking my time. <laughs> yeah, sad times. It's really sad to be going back home but also feels right as well. Go back home, get back into some sort of routine. Got a lot of content coming from back home as well. Um, so, and the end, the end, not the end of this year, kind of mid this year as well, so a lot, a lot coming from this channel, from my channel, but yeah, it is kind of mixed feelings, packing my bag, going home, yeah, but it is sad. So, yep, sadly, my bags are packed, and I'm thinking about, obviously, Getting ready for tomorrow, travelling home, power, turn myself round. Oh. Yeah, today, not a theme park day, but something different. I have been to Deezerland, Deserland before. The last time I went, it was very, very busy. It was a kind of a peak uh, season as well when I went, so probably that's why. Very different place. I love the addition of the James Bond. I don't think that was there last time I was there. I think that was new. So the Bond exhibition, or exhibit, amazing collection. There's so much detail there. There's no way I can cover every or show or explain every bit of detail of the um, the car museum and the Bond exhibit. I just can't cover it all, there's just so, so much. It's a fantastic collection. And honestly, as I said before, I'm not a car person, but highly, highly recommend. One, it's something different to do. Two, it's local um, to pretty much everything as well. So as I showed you, I walked from Endless Summer, Universal's Endless Summer Resort. I walked there. It was about 25 minutes, 30 minutes uh, walk, which is fine. 
for me. But if it's not, get a, you can get an Uber there, or I don't know if you can get the eye trolley there as well. I haven't really used the eye trolley, so I don't really know much about it. Um, if you do know anything about the eye trolley, then leave it down in the comments below for others if uh, if you know about that. But but yeah, unfortunately that's the end of this vlog for today. I'm not going to do anything else apart from just relax. I do actually want to start editing a video. I'm actually going to do a video of this room. So I have done a tour of this same room before, but I just want to do an updated version since I'm staying here. Um, so I'm going to do that just now after this video and then I'm going to start editing a bit of a video and then maybe spend about an hour at the pool, depending on what time it is, it's 10 to 8. So yeah, the pool shuts at 10 o'clock, so we'll see what happens. I might go down the pool and come up. I'm not sure yet. See how I feel. But yeah, that's the end of this series. Um, I will be vlogging my travel home tomorrow, so that'll be, say, a separate video. And then um, I arrive back in Manchester Airport on the Saturday morning. I'm going to be staying at the Holiday Inn Express, I think, the Holiday Inn Express. And I'll be doing a video there as well. So, yeah. And then when I get home there's more content and it just keeps on coming, keeps on going. So but thank you for watching this series if you watched all the way through. If this is your first video I've watched, you've got a lot of catching up to do. You need to go back away and catch up. Um but yeah, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for uh, some new patrons as well. So um Peter, who's became my third patron on this uh, trip, thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. It's in any I don't promote it by any money that you put towards the Patreon um, all gets put back into content and making videos as well so thank you for supporting that it does mean a lot uh, so yeah what else can I say um, apart from that's the end of this travel series in Orlando can't wait to be back I have mentioned before so I, I, it's not news but I will be going on a cruise this year and I will be going on the Disney Wish this year and I need to come back to Orlando for that so I will be spending some time in the parks again going on a cruise and then seeing what happens after that and that's all I can say so on that note it's been a very 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 great stay here at Endless Summer Resort fantastic resort for all things really, um, the, the buses, brilliant, I've never had to wait for a bus, never have had to wait for a bus um, to get into, it's a universal shuttles, to get into their parks, never, always went down to the bus, and the bus is there, or just arriving, takes me to the park, when I want to come home, there's always a bus there, or there's always one just arriving, uh, so it's, it's been a great, great service that way, housekeeping, first class, Every day they've been in. Some days I have uh, had a long line, slept in. So, and yet I come back and they've still been housekeeping. So, I mean, yeah. There's not, there's, I just again, I'm not a negative person, so there's not, I don't do that. I don't focus on any negatives. It's all been 99.9% .9 positive. Everything is, is great. Love this resort. It's good. How can I compare it? So, I stayed at Cabana Bay last time, so Cabana Bay, you are you can walk to the park. You can walk from here to the park, but it's not not ideal. So I wouldn't recommend it. But you can walk, but it's a bit of a walk. Um, and the last thing you really want to do is when you go into the resort, you're gonna you're gonna go into the park. Sorry, if you're waiting in queues. You're gonna be walking there, but you can walk there. So there's there's uh, there's no issue with that. But it's a bit of a long walk. Yeah, Cabana Bay's got the walking there, the buses there, the Volcano Bay and everything else, but Endless Summer, for me, is something a little bit different. So you can walk out the resort and you can walk down International Drive, like I've shown in these uh, this vlog series and different videos, and you can go and do different things and you can experience things out with uh, the Universal kind of bubble and go and see uh, different things, go and support local. Um, if you've watched the vlogs, I've done... 
uh, the Titanic exhibit, uh, the Artifact exhibit for example. I've done Roboland which has just recently opened. I've done things like that which are Desertland today. Things that are local. And there's a lot of other things you can go and do as well. There's like mini golf, there's Icon Park. I've done Icon Park previously but I haven't done all of Icon Park. There's obviously more than just the wheel. There's other things there as well. So there's a lot and lot to do. Um, and you can get to them from this resort and you can walk to them if, you, if you're if you able to but if not you can get an Uber I mean what was that to Icon Park $8, $10, $11 to, to, to get to Icon Park it's not far away yeah anyway so I recommend this for different reasons this is the pros and cons um, this resort ticks a lot of the boxes for different reasons so but yeah again thank you for watching I'm going to end it there because you're probably sick of watching me and sick of hearing me already. And until tomorrow's travel home vlog, I know, going home. I'll see you all then. Bye bye.